Alright, um, hello YouTube. I am back in, uh, Trains 12, as you can see. Um, today I'm here with Train Fan Caleb, um, I was just making sure that guy, uh, was not spamming me. Alright, anyway. Um, okay. So, oh, I just lost what I was saying. Um, so today I'm here with Train Fan Caleb on a route called Multi Level Huddle. Um, this, I'm just gonna be like doing a let's play of this and a uh, kind of little review of it. So basically, this route you kind of can do whatever you want. Um, these, this train here, uh, right here, um, this side, there's like cars scattered on the map and stuff that you can like get and stuff, so. So, yeah, anyway, basically, you can drive. Around, you basically drive around and stuff. It's okay. It's pretty fun, I gotta say, to me. So I mean, if you have the, if you have Trains 12, and you're looking for a pretty good multiplayer route, this is a pretty good multiplayer route to like play around on because this is like more of a starter kind of multiplayer route, and you kind of can do whatever you want. Although these switches are a little annoying. Basically, you can download it with uh, the Trains Online Browser. You just go to rn.com slash dls. And you don't have to type in multi-level huddle. You, you can uh, just type in huttel, like that, two Ts. And then all, everything comes up. Here's the route right here. Here's the two sessions. So it's this route is by Aknatsen. Um, he's a he's actually one of my friends. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is he did a pretty good job. The scenery could have been done a little better, but I mean it is a uh, supposed to be a model railroad, so it's not it's not supposed to be uh, all that good. I mean, uh, uh, it's not, it doesn't have to be that much uh, scenery. It's still fun to play on, I guess. So, I just kind of wanted to make this video, just so yeah. Because, uh, also, one more thing is, uh, I, if you could tell, um, I changed my, uh, my YouTube name because... I figured that um, I use Django 2447 mostly for everything, and I was using Death Eater for like my uh, Xbox 360 gamer tag for it. But I realized that uh, I I would change it to Django 2447 because that's usually the ga the username I use for most stuff, and I just decided it was a good idea to use Django for once, and I <laughs> put a Django with that picture just because getting the theme with that, and that picture was, I, I always wanted to change it to like, uh, I don't know, whatever, alright, so, this is basically what I'm going to be doing today, is just uh, showing you this route, I guess, it's pretty good size, um, there can be a lot of, it says there's six, there can be only six players, but I mean, it, I could see only having six because it is pretty small. It's not that big. Like if uh, as if you've seen any of my other videos of uh, trains called multiplayer, a lot of the routes are much bigger than this. Like the two I've shown so far, are pretty pretty big, more, much more bigger than this one, and has uh, I think. Yeah, it has industries. This one doesn't have any industries, so basically you just drive around. Another one I will be showing you in the future is uh, Mojave. It's kind of the same thing as driving around, but 
you do have two giant yards and it's a really giant map. So that's also a fun one to do is a uh, multiplayer on the Mojave. You can either get that one or there's another one called the Cross Mojave Sub, which I feel is better. But whichever one, you can try both. See which one's better yourself if you have the game. If you don't have the game, you can either get the uh, a disc copy of the a disc from either Arn.com um, or you can go to Amazon or any. I think it's only Amazon. You can get the, the same version I have, which is Railroad Simulator Powered by Tr Trains 12. It's basically the same thing. Um, it's I think like fifty or thirty dollars. Not not bad for a game. If this is the disc copy, uh, for the downloadable version, you can again go to rn.com, just hit the downloadable version, and you can also go to Amazon, just hit and look for uh, Trains Twelve. They're uh, for some reason they made them different because uh, Railroad Simulator Powered by Trains Twelve on Amazon is the um, disc version and. Trains 12 is the downloadable version. I would only download it if you, uh, sorry, just typing. Um, I would only download it if you have, I would, yeah, I'll only get the downloadable version if you don't have a disk drive. Otherwise, um, I would just rather get the disk, uh, cop, uh, the disk one because even though you don't, even though even, I mean, another benefit of getting the downloadable version is you don't have to wait for it being shipped, which I guess is another reason to get uh, the downloadable. But the reason why I like having the, the disk is because I don't really know how you would download it again if you got a new computer or something. So I just always get disks, except if it's Steam. Steam keeps it. Also, they have it on Steam. That's another where place you can get it. They have uh, Trains 12 on Steam. They also have various of uh, train simulators on Steam. So, if you're interested in buying this train simulator or any train simulator, you can go to Steam. Basically, just search train simulator, and you'll get a few results. I, I don't know how many. There are, but I know there's two big ones, which is Trains with a Z, Simulator 12, because they wanted to be that that company that has a Z there. I don't really, I never really understood that. Um, and then there's Train Simulator 2014, which is uh, I don't, I never tried. I was thinking of getting it, but again, I don't, I I have this one, and I have I have Trains. Similar to done six, I have a lot of uh, trains with the Z again. Um, either you can search train simulator 12 or s with a train simulator with the Z 12, or you can search train simulator 2014. Uh, I think I don't remember how much they are, but I think they're about the same price. Train Simulator 2014 does have better graphics, but does not have multiplayer. So if you want the multiplayer, uh, get Trains 12. Otherwise, I would uh, mostly I think this one's better, it's, despite the graphics. Um, this one's better, but I've, I've had I have looked at the other one. The graphics are uh, much better. Uh, they have a much better graphics engine. They always they come out with. Uh, free updates for the game, so if you get Train Simulator 2014, the, the company comes out with 15, you can, I think you can upgrade to uh, 15, because I know that happened with 13 when uh, 13 was out, and they came out with 14. Uh, they just said, oh, you can update the game, it's basically the same game. Um, so yeah, whichever one you want to get, you can get. Like I said, I never got a Train Simulator 2014, but I was thinking about getting it so I could compare the two and see actually which one I like better. I, I would have a feeling I would like this one still better because I've just had more experience in this and I have a lot more fun in this. And every and a lot of the DLC is free, except for certain DLC. 
like uh, this route is free. It's on the download station, um, it's usually free. Otherwise, there is a uh, tab for get new content, and then it says paid free and upload your content. So if you don't want to pay money, you go to free, obviously. If you want to pay the money to get like a route or something, then you pay. Otherwise, yeah. There's also various websites, which I will show you in another video of where you can download stuff from. Okay, so I'm going to say that's going to really be it, because there's not much to show on this route, sadly, just that it's driving around. So I think I showed you what this route looks like if you're interested and seem like this would be a good route for you. Um, you can download it at the download station. Um, again, if you don't have the game, go to arn.com or Amazon, whichever you prefer, and you can get it. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will be coming out with a lot more videos considering it is summer vacation and I don't have school and have to worry about finals and stuff. So I will have I will be coming out with a lot more videos now with either on here or with other on uh, Minecraft or something. I won't be doing much uh, Xbox anymore until I get something good to record with. So uh, anyway. That is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Trains. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Alright, see ya.